This episode has been brought to you by Flowstate, the unlimited Webflow development service. Find out more at flowstate.dev. A few weeks ago, I introduced you to a new no-code platform called Web Studio. Now, I touted it as trying to do things that Webflow can't or won't do. And they've released an update, which I think would be an amazing solution for people that want to design in Webflow, but host it elsewhere without having to export the code, without doing anything like that. Web Studio have brought out their own CLI, which enables exactly that. Now it's no surprise, or it's very clear to me that the pricing structure of Webflow is a bit confusing. You have your workspace plan, you have your site plan. And this would bring a lot more clarity to that because you could say, well, I wanna pay for the design, I wanna pay for the builder in my site plan, but I then wanna export it and upload it somewhere else. You host for free because to be honest, hosting these types of websites can be free or very, very cheap. So like I say, Web Studio has in their in their roadmap, some really interesting things. Um, Real-time collaboration, they've got interactions here, uh, Figma Design Token Sync, and they've, like I say, they've just ticked off kind of hosting on yourself. You can host it through Web, uh, Web Studio, but again, through the CLI, you can actually host it wherever you want. So we're gonna run through how to do it here, and uh, let's hope it pushes Webflow to consider something very similar, because it would be very nice to be able to host it wherever you want. So we're just gonna follow these instructions here. Uh, I'll link below everything that you need, but uh, this is installing Node, um, or at least Node version manager, which I have installed. I've installed uh, version 18, and I am now ready to install Web Studio Node package. So there we go, npm install, so installing on the global scope Web Studio. Let that do its thing. One eternity later. There we go, it's installed. And just to clarify, we actually have it installed, which is wonderful. And now we're gonna basically run Web Studio, which is an automatic thing to take us through installing a project. So, would you like to create a project folder? Well, yes, of course I do. And I wanna enter project name. So let's just name this testing, okay? Paste a link from the share dialog in the builder. So now it's asking us to hop over to Web Studio. And if we sign in here, and I've just got a dummy website. If you haven't seen my previous video uh, running through, or at least the first impressions of Web Studio, um, you can see it's a very clean, nice interface. So I described this in my previous video as a watered down version of Webflow. So it, it is still growing, they're still building in public, which fair play to them is a bold thing to do. And they're really probably gonna get the best product out of this because they're developing it as, as people use it, you know? So I've got a basic website here that does not look particularly exciting, but if we head on over to the share window here, you can create a share link. And I've already done that over here. So we co if we copy that link, head on over to our Thing and paste in that link. Would you like to set up a deploy target? And this is where, where do we want to set it up to? So you can see now we've got Netlify and Versal. Now I already have a Versal account, which is completely free to set up. So I can uh, recommend it wholeheartedly for you guys to do that. Would you like to install dependencies? Yes, yes I do. Let it do its thing here. Cool. And let's cd into that folder, change directory into that folder, npm run dev. So I know there's gonna be an issue here, so I just wanna show you. Ideally, I think this should be fixed. Um, I've already reported it as a problem, but ultimately it's saying something about title case not being, um, not being available or whatever. So what we need to do is if we copy that just there and navigate to our folder and open up the remix config. You wanna add into the server dependencies to bundle these two items. Now, I'm not a genius. It basically just says title case is possibly, possibly ESM only package. Bundle it with your server, include it in this thing here. So that's what I read and kind of figured out that. But like I say, ideally, this will all be fixed. So let's try that again. 
And this is basically, we've served it up on local host. So here we go. This is the site working on my local host, which is absolutely brilliant. Oh, didn't see you there. Well, I'll take this opportunity to say, if you're enjoying the episode or finding a lot of value in it, then please consider hitting the like button. It really supports the channel. If you want to hear more about no-code tools such as Webflow, then hit the subscribe button as well as that bell notification so you don't miss a beat. Now, back on with the episode. So we've tested that that works. Now we just need to run MPX versus cell. Uh, install the following dependencies. Yep. This means we're using Vercel without having to actually install it. You could probably install it on your machine, um, but whatever. Cool, set up deploy. Yes, we do. Um, let's go with my personal one. Link to existing project. No, we want to create a new project. What's your project name? Testing, we'll leave that as it is. In which directory, we'll leave it there. Setting up project. No, we don't want to modify those settings. Cool, so we should be able to preview it right here. Building, how exciting. There we go, how amazing is that? So we've got our website built in Web Studio, hosted on Vercel. Now let's look at how we quickly update this. You know, you saw that I've made these changes here. So let's see what we need to do to um, update that. The link command syncs your local Web Studio project with the project in the cloud. This means changes in the cloud can be synced. Okay, so I'm guessing we need to hit publish. Okay, so that's published. Paste the link from the share dialog. Here we go, that's good. Copy. So we've done that, we've linked that. Once the project is linked, okay, perfect. Now we go sync and then run the dev again. So that's now synced and I've got my changes to my local thing. Um, and I think now because we've set up the sale, we've done all that setup, we've just got to run that. No preset. Oh, MPX Vercel deploy because we haven't installed Vercel. Cool. We go back to our preview link. Building, great. And there we go, synced my updates and deployed them. Everything's great. So as I say, I think this is a really interesting option, uh, something certainly Webflow could consider if they were willing to sacrifice hosting fees and all the rest of it. I guess this bypass is just exporting the, the code and, and doing it that way, but they might be able to figure out some way that CMS items are included in this or something like that. But regardless, it's great to see that Web Studio are pushing forward with their intended uh, roadmap. I'm looking forward to seeing what they bring to next. So definitely give Web Studio a go, especially if you're just starting out. Like when in my previous episode, I said, if, you, if you're learning Webflow, this is a sort of watered down version that's a lot simpler and a lot friendlier, to be honest. So fair play to Web Studio. That'll be all for this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy no coding.